Dave Taylor here, and I want to talk about something called Print Nightmare. This is an exploit in the wild that is using the Microsoft Windows Print Spooler to sneak onto your system and do nefarious things. Now, Microsoft has actually tried to fix it a couple of times, so they issued a patch, then they issued a second patch, and now they've come out and said none of those quite actually solve the problem. So, this is something that probably isn't going to be a problem for you, but it might be. And so it's possible that you will feel more safe and more comfortable if you actually protect yourself from this. And the way to do that is turn off your print spooler. So let me show you how to do that really quickly. It's actually pretty easy. So you want to launch PowerShell and make sure you run it as administrator, which means that it's going to then prompt you to grant permission yes you want to do that and you can see I have mine it's pretty big type because I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing so the first command you want to do is you want to turn off the current print spooler and that's done by stop service space minus name spooler minus force to force it to stop ready it stopped now the issue is that next time you restart, your spooler will start up again too. So you haven't really solved the problem. You've just sort of temporarily given yourself a break. Now, if you never reboot or never restart or are really good at remembering things, you can stop here and you're done. But for a lot of people, you also need to turn off the restart on boot. So that's done with a very similar command. This one's set service minus name spooler. But then this part's a slight bit different. So it's start up type and then disabled. Press return. Done. That's it. So now you've protected yourself from print nightmare, but the cost is, as I said, you won't be able to print because your print spooler is now shut down. I think that's probably a reasonable trade off because if you're like me, you print a piece of paper probably once every few months. I mean, we live in a paperless digital age, right? So that should get you going. You can now close PowerShell and you're done. And you can close this particular security notice because it doesn't apply to you anymore. That's it. I hope this was really helpful.